Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last End Gamers, and welcome. So today we're playing Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Now this game caught my eye because it just looked absolutely ridiculous. You've got one sort of colour of people beating the other sort of people to death. Actually, actually, that sounds pretty bad, but no, they're red and blue people, so we can just get over there. We've got three blue people here ganging up on my one red person as he flees for his life. It's a very early stage game at the moment, but it is rather fun and it's ridiculous. See all the ragdolls there being tripped over by the red guys. He flees for his life. I don't think he's going to make it out of this fight alive. If he managed to knock out them three guys that are chasing him, that would be quite ridiculous, but I don't think he's going to do it. He's tripping over another red corpse. The blue guys are getting closer to him. He's, he's absolutely fearing for his life. Anyway, let's skip back and we'll have a look at some different units. So we've only got um, 80 points here, so we can only buy ourselves a few farmers. But these farmers should be a little bit better equipped to deal with these peasants that are charging at us. So they've got these angry looking pitchforks. Hey, listen, listen to the sound that you're making as well. Oh, damn it, that guy got knocked out. That pitchfork was straight to his face. Oh, it looks like we might have this battle. There we go. First round done. Successful. Let's have a look what we've got next. So we should have some more points available. 800 points this time. We don't know what we're actually going against just at the moment. So let's stick some barbarians in. I believe these are equipped with some sort of club. I'll just put them in, in like a penis-shaped fashion. And they're charging out. Oh, this is not looking good. These guys have got pitchforks on both sides. The barbarians are hitting hard. Look at that cluster. Oh my god, there's a guy right up in the air. This is beautiful. Just a horde of bodies falling down on top of each other. Oh, the guys with the pitchforks seem to be winning, though. My barbarians just can't get any action in with them large. <laughs> there we go. Oh, my God. All right, give, give, beat him down. Beat him down. Yes, the two barbarians have got him. Got another with a pitchfork there. Okay, let's see what happens here. Oh, no, they just stabbed him. We've got two barbarians left versus three of their pitchfork guys. Now, the problem I can see here is we might not win that, so let's just skip back. And let's add some footmen in. Now, footmen, I believe, are equipped with swords. So if we actually do this setup nice, we should be able to do a little bit of a shield and sword combo. Now the shields, what they do is they ram into the enemies and knock them back, so they'll allow our footmen to do it. And we'll just throw in a few peasants there just as a little bit of slaughter into the middle. So the shields are up front, we've got the swords behind them. This should be quite a dangerous combo. It looks like they're breaking through, the shields are pushing hard. Them farmers though are doing a lot of damage to them shield men. They are really picking them off, yeah, there's more blue guys here, I don't think we're going to make it out of this fight. We're going to have to try a different sort of combination. And this is what I quite enjoy about this, is you just go at it again. Oh my god, this guy's on a rampage. The guy with the red sword's on a rampage. He's running away at the moment, though. If he manages to take these two out... Oh, there's another red man. He's emerged from the fight. This could be a really good fight. We've got the shield man just visiting the church off in the distance. Oh, it looks like we might have it. Give him a good swing. Yes! Oh, beautiful. Great job, little dude. Let's see what we've got next. So we've got 300 money this time. Let's have maybe do a shield combo again, or should we just try a load of peasants? Like just a horde of peasants against them. So there we go, a whole horde. Let's just play that. Oh, it looks like we're going against some guys with boxing gloves on and what are these? Archers of some kind. That's pretty dangerous. But our peasants are just a massive horde. Oh, you can hear the boxing gloves slapping them. Look at that. Some guy's doing a people's elbow there. He's got his arm wrapped around one of his comrades as he's advancing in. Their arms and the ragdolls as they move is just so funny. Look at that. Oh my god, he's got one right in the face. Right between the eyes. How is he not dead? These archers are pushing him back. He's just giving him a good crack. Slapping him left, right and centre. He's gone down. These guys are taking arrows to the knee. What's that guy doing there with his hand in the other guy's mouth as he's advancing? That's some sort of new tactic. He's dragging some other guy with him as well. He's just headlocked the guy behind him. Oh, I don't think we're going to win this. Come on, guys. Beat them guys with the arrows down. They're too close now to use them. There we go. Give him a good slap. He's splaying his arms everywhere. That guy. Oh, he's cracked him with the nuts. Let's, go. Let's have a look. Oh, oh, we might win this. Okay, come on. Come on. Keep hitting. Keep hitting him. Oh, the other guy's coming in from the side. Knockout. Oh, he just slapped him. Oh, and he's dropped to the ground. <laughs> These battles are so metal. I love it. It's great. Right, let's have a look. We've got 1,500. Ooh, I'd like to try a cannon crew. I wonder how dangerous they are. So three cannons. That's all we can really afford. And we've got some infantry advancing towards us. Well, look at that guy. He's pushing the cannon. He's being dragged by it. Okay. Fire! Oh, beautiful. We took out like a few guys at the start. Oh, look at that. The volley of cannon fire. We've got peasants on the left, peasants on the right. Oh, they're just getting dropped. He's going to be right in the barrel. Oh, he just got ejected. Victory. The cannons are really good, actually. Then Maybe we should try a different cannon combo for the next round. So that we've got 2,500, so we'll have a proper volley of cannon fire in this one. Now, I've not tried the blister or the catapults yet. I don't know how good they are. 
So we go. Now we've got, I think it's five ca five cannons. Not all of them we've got operators on. We're coming against shield guys here. Oh, the first initial shield guys were wiped out. Second guy's getting wiped out. The guys are clustering on the right, and when they cluster in a row, these cannons will really go to work. Oh, yes. Devastation by cannon fire. Balls going everywhere. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, there we go. Oh, just fire him. Knock that guy out of there. Oh, he's aiming the cannon up. Cannon, one cannon's down, broken. Got two shields advancing. That guy's shield managed to deflect it. He's keeping on his feet. He's lifted it in the air. Oh, look how he's look how he's, dead. he's still alive, that guy. Pushing in. He's not got a cannon now, though. He's dodging them all. Oh, he's going to take it to the face, though. <laughs> oh, that was a lovely little cannon assault. They tried their hardest. Right, we've got 1,500. We'll try another cannon go again. Oh, this this might not work. Some guys have dropped the shields already, been tripped over by the look of it by their own guys. That was always like a big fear of mine if I was in one of these sort of medieval charges. Imagine just getting just fallen over and getting trampled by your own men. Oh, I don't think we're gonna have this this time. We've already got one of the three cannons down. That's second cannon down. Come on, little guy. See if you can put some fire on these. Oh, he's not doing too well. The shield's pushing into him. He's aiming the cannon. No, the shield pushed into him, but the cannon go up into the air. Oh, we're not going to have this now, surely. Oh, defeated. Right, we'll try a different little bit of a different combo. Um, I think that since there's so many shields in that wave, maybe if we try some footmen and then maybe back them with shields as well. You can see we've got this really interesting sort of grid method. So I'm going to do a little box of footmen, maybe two boxes of them, and then try to split their um, initial wave of infantry into two groups and then one of the boxes should be able to attack from the flank well that's that this all sounds good in theory but we'll see actually how it works so th so there is some strategy to this so we'll add a chariot in so the chariot will break up the main volley of the shields and then the footmen should storm in and kill the rest um let's have a little what else we can do maybe have a little line of shields in front of some of them we've only got 30 points left so we'll just use some peasants up as well so there goes the chariot straight into the center Oh, it's not done too well. It's broken him up though, but my the shields are just hammering my men. Yeah, just got knocked straight back. Look at all the blue guys just pushing through. They barely lost any. I've lost loads of my guys. That guy's just KOing the guy with the shield from behind as well. Some blue guys running off towards the church. That guy's just lying on top of the other one dead. Oh, I don't think we're gonna win this one. We might have to cut back. What else have we got alive? We've got probably one man alive, maybe? There he is. Nah, no, never mind. Let's have a quick go. Maybe some spearmen. Maybe the spearmen can break up the shields a little bit better. I don't know what the sort of tactic was for dealing with a line of shields like this in the old sort of medieval battle tactics guide. I'm guessing maybe shield on shield might be the way of doing it, like an Anglo-Saxon sort of Viking battle where they would hit each other with the shields and then break the shield line and so on and so on. But when the Romans used a line of shields like this, it was very effective. So we'll stick a few peasants at the front to absorb the initial shield rush. And then our shield rush should counter those. Look at them spears sticking to the side. Okay, we've hit them. It's not looking too good. We've got initial breakthrough on that left side, and the guys are spinning around the back. But well, them swords are absolutely deadly up close. The spears may be a bit better against the chariots if they send them against us. Right. So we'll try a different a bit of a different combo. We'll try maybe a catapult. We just need a way of breaking that initial shield wall so we can get some fire in there. Maybe a wall of peasants as well, just in a random sort of circle. I'm just pretty much trying anything at the moment. So we've got the blister and the catapult. We'll just see how they work. Oof, I think I wiped out quite a lot of my own men with that. Okay, let's have a quick look. More blisters, maybe. And maybe just like a small group of spearmen or archers on the side. So if they break up them with the blisters and they separate them from the shields, maybe the archers can pick them off. I'm not too sure. There we go, we've got two blisters going in. Oh, yes, perfect. Let's see if we can get another two shots in on them. Oh, the second shots weren't effective. They seem to be able to get up from the blister shots as well. That's not too good. Oh, bodies went everywhere in that one. Oh, our archers have been absolutely wrecked. Oh, they're going to have the side of our blisters in a second as well. There's not too many of them remaining. Just look at the legs flying around. <laughs> He's trying to move the blisters around. Hang on, we've got one guy left. We could have this. If he just managed to get his act together and fire the blister. Oh, god damn it. Oh, hang on, we got him. Maybe that was a draw. That should have been a draw. Okay, we'll give it maybe one last attempt. What are we going to try? Maybe try blisters again, and then maybe try some sort of rush through the middle with footmen after the blisters have opened them up like they did before. There we go. We've got blisters firing on both sides, and it should cover our footmen, but we've not got many footmen in ratio. 
Okay, it's knocked down a few of the shields, giving a bit of space for the Vault Men to get in. Oh, look at that body go off from into the sky. Oh, it didn't really work. Oh, yes. Perfect. Our blisters are quite well covered at the moment. We've got one swordsman left. I don't think we're going to win this one either. I think I'm just going to wrap this up here. This is a great little game. I recommend you check it out. Give it a little bit of support. And to be honest, I don't know. It's just it's just good fun. Oh, let's do another round. Let's do another chariot. Let's do a chariot rush. Send a load of chariots into them to see if we can break the shields that way. <laughs> look at the horses like going around. Oh yes, we've broken through. Oh look at his, look at the spinning round that was going back to front. Okay, it looks like the chariots are actually quite effective against that. Even though one, that one's lost its driver. And they've split the men up. So the chariots did like a more of a realistic sort of thing. Uh, anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. It's quite fun having a go at this. Check this out. 